After we have introduced antiderivatives in uh, a previous lesson, now we're going to introduce definite integrals. Now, antiderivatives are also referred to as indefinite uh, integrals. Now, if we consider a function f that is continuous over an interval a, b, that is a subset of the domain of the function, and if we designate by g an antiderivative of f, now, antiderivative of f is defined by the indefinite integral, that is the integral of f of x dx, which is gx plus k. And that is equivalent to saying that g prime of x, the derivative of the antiderivative, is in fact the function itself. Now, the definite integrals, in fact, uses uh, the antiderivative of the function over uh, the given interval a, b that we've already mentioned is a subset of the domain of the function. So the integral of f of x dx over the interval a, b is in fact the antiderivative of the function defined over that interval by g of b minus g of a. So the integral, the definite integral of f of x over a, b is defined by the antiderivative of the function evaluated at the upper bound minus at the lower bound. So it's g of b minus uh, g of a. Now over here we do ignore the constant of integration because when we subtract, that constant of integration will end up being cancelled anyway. So by considering that g of x plus k is between a and b, by applying the upper bound minus the lower bound, I would have g of b plus k minus into g of a plus k. So expanding that, that would give me g of b minus g of a and k minus k ends up being cancelled out. So this is why whenever we're dealing with definite integrals, we just ignore that constant of integration over uh, that interval between a and b. So we're going to solve a couple of examples here. Now, x squared plus 4x uh, plus 2, we're integrating it between uh, 0 and 2. So we start uh, exactly the same way by uh, integrating each term using the integration rules. So over here, the antiderivative of x squared is in fact one third of x cubed. Now it's good to revisit uh, the table of antiderivatives or the table of integrals in order to remember the antiderivative rules. Now plus four x, now x is in the form of a power x to the n where n is 1 so that is a 4 over 2 x squared now a constant an antiderivative of constant is 2x but here this antiderivative would actually be defined between uh, 0 and 2 so simplifying that it's 1 third of x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x between 0 and 2 so upper bound minus lower bound. So 2 cubed, that's an 8 over 3. 2 times 2 squared, that's a 2 times 4, which is an 8 plus 4 minus evaluated, the antiderivative evaluated at 0. Now that is 0, in fact. So over here, this is 8 over 3 plus 12. So that's a 36. Uh, plus 8, so that's a 44 over 3. So that is the definite integral corresponding to this function between 0 and 2. Similarly, over here, if we were to be integrating x squared minus 1 between uh, negative 1 and 1. Now, integrating x, uh, x squared has one third x cubed is an antiderivative minus, that's a constant, so its antiderivative is one times x, so that's an x evaluated between negative one and one. So upper bound minus lower bound, so it's one third minus one minus into negative one third, because negative one cubed is negative one, so negative one third, negative into negative one, that is uh, a plus one. So it's 
So it's negative two thirds minus negative two thirds. Now that is a negative four over three. And that is it regarding definite integrals. Now in our next lesson, we're going to be tackling some properties of uh, the definite integral.